Hello, welcome. Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, both Global and JP, we had some bombs dropped on us the last couple days as far as news. Uh, so let's talk about that here. Uh, but first, let's do some summons. Um, I got to floor 20 of the new tower. Uh, there are 30 in all. Uh, but if you do that, uh, you can get a couple of 10-shot uh, tickets. So let's pull those first. And then what I want most is uh, Fenrir. That would really open up my uh, Sasayaki Magic Mitigation team. Uh, or more copies of that Snow White card, uh, just because I still haven't maxed it yet. Or anything else that I am currently working on. Oh, I also need lots of uh, Azure Orbs, so let's hope we get lots of those. Okay... Okay, Snow White. No. <laughs> All right, change, 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 change. Yeah, not a good roll at all. But it's free. Hard to complain. Uh, two of the Azure Orbs. That's okay. All right, one more. And then as for getting to floor 20, it wasn't that hard at all. Um, like every floor, you need like different element characters or uh, like defense piercing or magic or area of effect attacks or single target attacks. And I had enough variety of characters. I used a bunch of MRs and SRs as well to get through that. Uh, but we'll see how the last 10 floors of the tower are. Okay, change, 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 okay, Fenrir, ooh, rainbow, ah, Siren, all right, <laughs> she's still really good, I use that card with my Miranda all the time, so that's fine, and a couple more Azure Orbs, all right. Okay, so I was planning on doing a video of uh, Vineta, Tyrol, and Dario, uh, but it's a good thing that I waited because they're being pushed back. Uh, but before we talk about Global, let's talk about JP real quick. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV is coming back, and uh, folks in JP have been asking for this uh, since the day after it ended. Uh, but listening to the uh, director and producer in the uh, recent live streams, it sounded like it wasn't going to come back for a very long time. I was even guessing like uh, next year or something. Uh, but here it is, seven months later, and it is back. Uh, Yashutura will be back. I think she's still worth uh, maxing for everybody. Uh, if you do have a max Salia, maybe you need a Yashutura a little bit less. Uh, but again, I was able to use Yashutura in the uh, ice floors of the tower. And then as a uh, backup healer, she's always great. And she has Holy as well, which is one of the most important skills in the game. Oh, and I also used her in the Ifrit raid, so yeah, still lots of use cases for Yashutara. And then uh, Thankred will also be back. Uh, my guess is that this time in JP they will implement that uh, system that they did in Global, uh, where you can uh, get his first get with the raid orbs, and then uh, buy his shops from the uh, daily rotating shop. Uh, I might get his drop just for laughs, you know, so I can look at his uh, status, his resistances more easily than just going to the website and looking at that. Uh, but I probably won't build him unless I can get him to 79 really easily. Lots of people have been asking for a return of him, but I wonder how many people would actually use him. <laughs> I see him very, very rarely in Arena. And then people have also been asking for a buff for him, although I don't think uh, he needs it. Uh, maybe give him a uh, limit break, but uh, he does look like a fun character to use and then maybe one that would fit my team, uh, because he's like tanky, uh, maybe not the fastest character, but uh, can do good damage if he gets close enough. So like if I put him on my team with uh, Kirufe and Agrius, it'd be like a, like a slow-moving juggernaut that you can't kill and just rolls you over uh, by the end. And then along with uh, Final Fantasy XIV, there will be a new vision card. Um, I'll pull for it if it can help my Sasayaki with uh, like defense mitigation and all that. Uh, but I might buy the shards for the cards because I like both of them. 
Uh, they help you with uh, elemental attack and elemental resistances. And uh, yeah, I would like them to get uh, to a higher level than uh, where they are now. And then uh, hopefully we get the raid uh, that was cancelled within the first few hours uh, way back in uh, November. Um, I think dark characters will be good in there. Uh, so again, uh, Shadow Lynx, Gafgarion, Stern, and company, they could be good in there. Okay, next we can talk about Global. Uh, the tower is coming from the first, I believe, and then it will be 20 floors, uh, which is the same number as the floors in uh, the beta version of the JP Tower. Uh, but we don't know if they're going to have like the same uh, content, uh, because here in the JP one, uh, 30 floors, and then every floor is different. There's no, there's nothing the same uh, from before at all. Um, like the look of it is different. It looks like it's made of porcelain now, which is very cool. And then uh, the enemies are different in their positioning and stuff. So I really don't know what to expect in Global. And then also the uh, the Crimson Saber is going to be a reward. Uh, the live, not the live stream, but like the official channel video, uh, they said that you can get the, uh, the Crimson Saber from the tower. Uh, but they didn't specify what floor. Uh, if it's the same as JP from before, you have to get all the way to the top. And that's going to be very, very difficult to get. Whales are going to be the ones that will have the easiest time getting this. I don't know if Free-to-Play can get it. Maybe not even Minnows, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but like before, probably at the 10th uh, the floor, you'll get that 10-shot uh, uh, ticket. Um, so that's something that everybody should aim for at least. And for some people that will be a bigger deal than the, uh, the Crimson Saber. Uh, but uh, keep Crimson Saber in mind for a second. And then uh, let's talk about the new unit uh, announcement. Uh, Rain and Fravia are coming at the same time. Uh, my guess is that they will be on separate banners. I hope they are. Uh, I remember when I uh, pulled in Global for uh, Kiton, I didn't want to pull Sasayaki, who was on the same banner. Uh, I was very lucky to get Kiton. And then I was always impressed with the, uh, the look of the artwork of Rain in this, and I still think that. Uh, but Fravia looks amazing. Uh, the short hair, the, uh, the eyes, the long coat, and the hot pants. Uh, it's a good thing I don't have a credit card for the uh, Global account. <laughs> Free to play, not by choice, yeah. Uh, Rain will definitely be standard pool, and I want to say Fravia will also be standard pool. Uh, all the other uh, Brave Exvius characters are that way, uh, like Fina, Ayaka, uh, Eileen, people like that. And then in the announcement video it says limited collaboration, but it's kind of neither of those things. Uh, I don't think it's going to be limited, and it's not really a collaboration either. Not in the traditional sense, like uh, Final Fantasy 1 or 14. Uh, they're going to be standard pool characters. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about Rain. Unfortunately, he is one of the very few uh, URs that I do not have. Uh, maybe I'll just put up a um, like a screenshot of his stuff. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, but this is very important, but his Crimson Saber is kind of necessary for him. And if you can't get it, you can't get the full use out of Rain. And the reason for that is because uh, the Crimson Saber has the highest magic value of any of the, uh, the Great Swords uh, by a wide margin, so it really changes the character. Uh, without it, he is a magic tank and a breaker, uh, but with it, he is a uh, legitimate damage source. Uh, he is not a top tier damage source. He's not an Orlando. Uh, he's maybe like a Miranda level damage source. Um, so like solid and reliable, uh, but not going to one-punch a lot of guys. And uh, yeah, he does have a giant sword, and his limit break does look very cool. Uh, but a lot of people might be disappointed by the, uh, the damage that he does. Uh, so just fair warning to all of you Rain fans out there. Uh, but although his limit break doesn't do a lot of damage, it's very useful. Uh, you can use it turn one, and then it will imperil fire. Uh, so that will set up the rest of his attacks really well. And then uh, he has the Red Mage subjob, uh, so he'll have like a Faraga and then a Jamming Thrust and stuff. So again, solid damage, not top tier, but just really solid. So yeah, kind of like a solid all-arounder, more like Ramza and Miranda, not a top tier damage dealer. And then uh, his best skill uh, might be the three hit uh, magic damage attack. Uh, that automatically makes him the best magic chainer in the game uh, for raids. 
And so he would have been great for the uh, the chocolate flan raid, actually. <laughs> uh, but also his fire element means that he is the answer to uh, Mediena and Gilgamesh, uh, and Fravia, as it turns out. Uh, but to be honest, if you can't get his Crimson Saber, he might be a skip. And then another thing that might surprise people is that he's not very good at physical tanking. Uh, he's really only good for magic tanking, and uh, it's going to be hard to find a PvP opponent uh, that doesn't have any uh, physical attackers. <laughs> and then maybe his biggest weakness is a strike attacks. I forget, it's like minus 20 or minus 30. Uh, so Jiza might be able to one-punch him. Okay, next let's talk about uh, Fravia, who actually might be kind of similar to Rain as far as how they work, and then maybe uh, the place that they'll hold in the meta. Uh, but she has main job uh, Spellblade, so she can also be a magic tank. And the sub jobs are Green Mage and White Mage. Um, so overall, she's not going to be super tough. Uh, although, we'll see. She might turn out to be like a Kitofe, really, really tanky. Uh, I'm not expecting it though, so might have to use her carefully. Uh, with her White Mage job, I really, really hope she gets Holy. Uh, that would really improve uh, her stock, just that skill alone. Uh, I do worry about her as a damage dealer. Um, even if her magic value is very high, which I think we can all expect, uh, the Spellblade job, it's very short range. Um, it's like one panel away or two panels away uh, that we can see like on the, uh, the featured attacks uh, thing that they did for the uh, video. Uh, but unless there is some like unknown hidden ability that nobody's gotten yet, like a Blizzaja blade or something with a longer range, uh, her attacks are going to be very short range, so she's going to have to get close to people uh, to make use of those attacks. So she might be more difficult to use than people are expecting. So I'm not very hopeful uh, for her as an attacker, but uh, I hope I'm proven wrong. Uh, but again, like Rain, uh, she's not going to be a uh, top tier damage dealer at all. So yeah, both Rain and Fravia, they might be disappointing at uh, first glance after people start using them. Uh, but like a lot of other characters, like Ramza that I mentioned earlier, uh, over time uh, people will come to appreciate them. And uh, yeah, they'll have their place in the meta uh, when the events, you know, uh, come in and out, then uh, they'll be featured or they won't, uh, but you can also use them for uh, different floors of the tower. If you wanted a magic tank who might be better than both of them, you might want to wait for Dario, uh, the MR unit that is on uh, Veneto's banner. And that's what I'm going to do, uh, because he can do both uh, magic and physical pretty well. And then of course he'll be cheaper uh, than UR units to raise. Uh, but I'll talk about him more, uh, maybe in a couple weeks when uh, he is close to release. Uh, but if you wanted to wait for a magic tank that really can attack, uh, you might want to wait for Agrius. Uh, she's really, really great. I think you've seen her in a lot of videos that I've made lately. And then uh, if you are miffed about having uh, pulled uh, Victora right before the release of Fravia, uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Victora is still going to do more damage, I think, uh, unless they surprise us with uh, Fravia's uh, skill set. Okay, I think that will do it for this video. I'm going to go back to uh, climbing the tower in JP. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.